We are all co-authors of this dancing exuberance, or even our inability to having ghosts. We are the authors of ourselves, co-authoring a gigantic Dostoevsky novel starring... Personal responsibility. Again, I think the best solutions are sustainability, as well as following an ethically principled means of life and communication. I think that we need to do things that enable us to be human beings in our entirety. Tell people that there's no such thing as authority, <laughs> and that they actually are free to make the choices and uh, you know uh, take care of themselves in a sense. I mean, that's that's not a blanket statement, but. Um, yeah, uh, you know, to, 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 you know, to, to make, I don't know, you know, like, when you have police that can arrest you and, and stop you and detain you and, you know, throw you in a box, throw you in a cage, uh, nobody else can do that, you know, I can't do that. If somebody's trying to knock me over and beat me up, I can't throw them in, you know, cuffs. And, not legally anyway, and especially if they don't, you know. If there's no consent, you know. I guess you can, as long as there's consent, but that's The solution is to put the, the power back in the hands of the people, make sure that decisions are being made that benefit the majority, not even the majority, that benefit ultimately everyone in the long run. Um, we need to make sure that we are taking care of each other, uh, that people are being taken care of. Uh, that people aren't, you know, that people aren't expendable. And what do you think the best solution is? I believe uh, we need campaign finance reform. We need publicly finance elections. So we take a little bit of our uh, tax revenue that we're already taking and um, use it towards uh, funding elections. Um, they don't have to be large scale like the way they are now. Um, they can just be in uh, newspaper ads because TV ads usually are very. Um, uh, misleading, anyway. Um, but uh, uh, we uh, we need uh, 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 campaigns that are financed by the people, so our politicians are actually working for the people. What do you think the best solutions are? Socialism. I think so. Some people might disagree, but I definitely think that's the best way to go. Wrong with it? I think if it sway public opinion towards socialism and liberalism, then. Uh, it would not only be better for the people, it would also be better for the government, it would be better for the whole world, really. Well, education, but that's a broad scope. Um, I guess the best solution would really mean, education is useful, but really you have to get people to the point where they can actually understand it, which means they need to be taken out of their uh, level of fear first, before you can even get to the point where they would be able to absorb any new information. Their brains are already closed off. To, to each individual subject, but also closed off in that any more information could just lead to more fear. So they, first you have to actually get them out of that vibration of fear before they can be able to absorb anything. Um, of the two base vibrations, you know, yin and yang or whatever, they could also be love and fear. Love would be the uh, incorporation of more things together, or the putting together of a uh, force which draws energy or physical things together. And then fear is the one which pushes it away. If anyone is in a state of fear, they're pushing information away automatically. They're already putting out a vibration to push energy away from themselves. So you have to put them in a state of love, essentially, where they can pull information in. If you try and do, you can't fill in a cup that's already full. You have to first clear what's in there out before you can put any more in. So sometimes maybe what you have to do is to get them to the, understand what they do already know in a better way so that then they'll have room to clear their mind and then you can start putting more stuff in. You can't just walk up and spout things to people and expect them to get anywhere that way. Turn to the Lord Jesus, follow in his footsteps and help believers, to so help non-believers to come to salvation. I think our best solution, uh, the first step is to pass a constitutional amendment that says that a corporation is not a person and does not have the rights of a person and that corporations' money is not free speech. Definitely think we need to get back to this country's roots. It was built on unions and giving everybody a fair share instead of just a couple of CEOs. We want to take advantage of everyone, so. Our biggest problem with greed. Next one. I think our best solutions is our, I think we're getting a really good start here.
this is what people need. People need each other. People need community. And through community, we won't need them anymore. Like since I've been down here, I've felt such a sense of community and camaraderie that I haven't thought once about the fact that like, oh, I don't have money to go out and buy a new computer that I definitely don't need or go buy a car that I really don't need because I have the subway here. And I haven't thought about consumerism in really any form whatsoever. I've thought about sleeping, taking action, food, meeting people and being kind to them. And this is really what people need to be able to move on past consumerism and propaganda that we see through TV all day long. And I actually forgot <laughs> the original question I was just preaching.